chapter 3 linear regression exercise 3.2 which is given on your page number 136 here the first question the following information is obtained from the study to know the effect of use of fertilizer on the yield of cotton information of x and y is given obtain the regression line y on x and estimate the yield of cotton per hectare if 300 kg fertilizer is used so first let's take the information here I made the total and found the answer in decimal and even the value is more. So when the it answer came decimal, we are going to use the shortcut method that is the UV method. So here I wrote the formula. Don't forget to write down CY and CX. X, remember to find out U and V that is X minus assume mean divided by CX and to find out V y minus b c y x will be the same this column a as usual i will select a lowest value number that is the 20 i am going to select an a and c x we can see that none of the number is going to multiply with the one table so here i will assume as one for y column again y will be my y will be get subtracted from b and the b is the assumed number so here again I am going to choose the minimum value number in the column is 100 just to avoid to get the answer in minus it's up to you you can choose any one of the number your final answer will be the same so the next I need is CY just look at the number the each and every number is not going with any one single table so here again I am going to assume CY as a 1 Many times you can see that this y is not used in the formula in other exercise but here I am going to choose every time just not just to avoid the confusion. So let's start with the u. Take your calculator x is 28 minus 20 divided by 1. You will get the answer 8. Again 35 minus assume mean is 20. So 35 minus 20 divided by 1. 1 you will get 15 next 25 minus 20 divided by 1 you will get 5 this is how you have to go with the calculation I am continuing with the remaining 5 0 and the total of u is 37 next for v here is the column y minus b that is assumable number I choose the minimum number here that is 100 so 128 minus 100 divided by 1, I'll get 28. 140 minus 100 divided by 1, that is 40. Next 115 minus 100 divided by 1, 15. This is how you have to go with the each and every numbers ca calculation. At the end, I got the sigma v as 130. This is a sigma u. Next column is UV, the multiplication of this two column. That is 8 into 28, 2 to 4, 15 into 40, 600, 5 into 15, 75, 4 into 20, 80, 0, 5, 0, 5 into 22, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And the total of this sigma UV is 1089. U square the square of this column that is 8 8 is 64 15 into 15 225 5 5 is 25 4 4 is 16 0 25 0 and the total of this column we got 355 so here all the information are ready just keep into the formula for n that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 number of information sigma uv that is 1086 sorry 89 minus sigma u that is 37 sigma v that is 130 up on n 7 sigma u square that is 355 minus sigma u 37 whole square into sigma y that is 1 and sigma x is again 1 Now get it multiply 7 into 1089 you will get 7623 
minus 37 into 130 you'll get 4810 7 into 355 2485 minus 37 into 37 1369 just get them subtract that is 2813 and here comes 1116 if you divide you'll get 2.52 so after this calculation we found B, the next is to find out A, that is Y bar minus B X bar. Y bar is 118.57 minus B, just now we found is 2.52 and the X bar that is 25.29, 118 118.57 minus, if you get them multiply you will get 63.73 and subtract it that is 54.84 now the last one what we are going to find out is the regression line y on x that is y cap is equal to a plus b x a 54.84 plus b 2.52 and the x which is given in the question for taking the value of x go back to the question here it is given to take a 300 kg for the fertility but see properly the value of x is given in 10 kgs so here first we'll take just put the rough calculation 300 into 10 so take it 30 for the value of x don't take it directly 300 and be sure that what exact information is given in the question Moving 54.84 plus 2.52 into 30, you will get 756. And just add them, you will get the answer 130.44. Moving to the next question. To know the relationship between the height of a father and son, obtain the regression line of height of son on the height of father. From the following information of 8 pairs of father and adult son which is given and estimate the height of son whose father height is 170 centimeter which will be our x to find out the regression line so let's take first into the table and out of this here i found the value is more and it is in decimal so here we are going to use a shortcut method so back again here x minus assume mean divide by sigma cx and y minus assume y will be cy and here don't forget to introduce cy and cx so x will be the this column a will be the assume now here minimum value in this column i found is 165 so here i'm going to take assume mean as a 165 and cx no numbers is going in one any one table so here i'll take it as a one same for the y column for b i need a minimum value i need that is 158 you people can choose any of the number see why as again we can see the no number is going in the one table so here we'll take it as a one so let's start with the calculation that is 167 minus 165 divide by 1 you will get 2 169 minus 165 you will get 4 171 minus 165 that is 6. Now please continue with the calculation the way I shown you. And here the total of sigma u is 26. For v 158. So 158 minus 158 divided by 1 0. 170 minus 158 divided by 1 you will get 12. 169 minus 158 divided by 1 you will get 11. The remaining I will continue 14. 12, 10, 6, 9 and the total of sigma v is 74. The next column is uv that is the multiplication of this two column. 2 zeros are 0, 4 twelves are 48, 6 11, 66, 3 into 14, 42, 8 into 12, 96, 1 tens are 10, 2 6 are 12, 0 nines are 0 and the total of this sigma uv here we found 274. The next thing we need is the u square. That is the square of this column. 2 2s are 
4, 4, 4 is a 16, 6, 6 is a 36, 3, 3 is a 9, 8, 8 is a 64, 1, 1 is a 1, 2, 2 is a 4 and 0 and the total of this column is 134. The next, let's keep into the formula. Now I'll just finish with the solution of B. Here I kept all the information from the table and the calculation goes 2192, the multiplication of this 2 minus 1924, that is the multiplication of this. Multiplication of 8 into 134 will get 1072 minus the square of 26, that is 26 into 26, will get 676. Subtract it, you will get at the end 0 0.68. The next is we will find out A, that is y bar minus b x bar y bar here we found in the question is 167.25 minus 0 0.68 the value of b and the x bar over here will take it as 168.25 be sure when x bar asked in the a you have to take the x bar which we have found at the beginning of the solution 167.25 and the multiplication of this will be 114.41 subtract it you will get 52.84 at the end we will find out the regression line y on x that is y cap is equal to a plus bx a just now we found 52.84 plus b 0.68 and the x which is given in the question was 170 centimeter and the x information is also given in centimeter so you can take it directly now just make a calculation of it multiplication of this to 115.6 and you will get 168.44 next question number three from the following information of altitude and the amount of effective oxygen in air at the place Obtain the regression line of amount of effective oxygen on the altitude x that is 305 meter is equal to 1000 feet. So here the x and the y information and if the altitude of place is 7 unit for 1 unit it is 305 meter estimate the percentage of effective oxygen in air at that place. So let's take the information in table here my x bar and y bar is ready where I can see it is in not integer and even I found the answer in decimal here we can choose the second formula that is this one also can do but I'm going to continue with this UV so here the formula and out of this here is the information where here I'm going to take assume mean out of this X I can see the zero is the minimum value so a will be 0, Cx is 1 as no number is going in one table. For V, Y minus B, here I am going to assume for B, the minimum number over here I can see is 16.6. Now let's start with the calculation, X minus A, that is 0 minus 0 divided by Cx, obviously 0, 1 minus 0 divided by Cx, 1. 2 minus 0 divided by 1, 2, so the same 3, 4, 5, 6, where I found the total of sigma u, the total of u column is 21. For v, as you can see, the answer in decimals. So first take 20.9, but here, if the number is given with decimals, the point number, which number is, is not getting matched with any of the table. ये जो पॉइंट के बाद वाले नंबर है वो किसी टेबल में मैच नहीं होते तो फॉर दिस फॉर सी वाई विल टेक 0.1 वी श्योर दैट व्हेन एवर द इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवन समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड इज नॉट गेटिंग मैच विद एनी नंबर टेबल तो दैट टाइम यू हैव टू यूज इट 0.1 सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द कैलकुलेशन फॉर द वाई कॉलम यूज योर कैलकुलेटर नाउ टेक योर कैलकुलेटर वाइल गोइंग विद दिस वीडियो दैट इज 20.9 minus 16.6 divide by 0 0.1 you will get the answer 43 next again 20.1 minus 
and divide by 0 0.1 you will get 35 continue with the remaining 28 13 13 7 0 and the total of sigma v here we found 139 next get multiply the column of uv to find out uv column that is 0 into 43 0 1 into 35 35 2 into 28 that is 56 this is how continue with the calculation in your calculator and the total of sigma uv is 217 now the next is u square the square of this column that is 0 1 4 9 16 25 and 36 so sigma u square is 91 i'll just complete the calculation i'll show you at the end how what will be the result so after keeping value in the formula here also don't forget to take c cy will be at the top and make this correction in the formula page which i have written that is cy upon cx here cy was 0 0.1 and cx was 1 if you make the calculation you will get 0 0.1 obviously because down it is 1 here you can see the value 1519 is less than the value of 2919 so obviously the answer will be in minus to remove the calculation out of this you will get minus 7.14 into 0 0.1 you will get 0 0.71 that is b next is to find out a that is y bar minus b x bar y bar 18.59 minus b minus 0 0.71 and the x bar is 3 here you can see the x bar is 3 and y bar is 18.59 that's what i kept 18.59 minus the multiplication of this will be 2.13 minus 18.59 now here the minus minus will turn into plus 2.13 and here we found a 20.72 so next is to find out regression line y on x that is y cap is equal to a plus b x a 20.72 plus b 0 0.71 and the x is 7 which is given in so here 20.72 plus get them multiply you will get wait here the answer is in this is in minus even here we will keep in minus and the multiplication of this will be minus 4.97 so here plus minus will be minus 4.97 at the end you will get 15.72 next question